Believe it or not, actually, I'm third generation law enforcement. Um, my grandfather actually started and he was in the NYPD for 40 years. Uh, he retired as a lieutenant. Um, and my dad recently retired a couple of years ago from up in New York um, after 35 years. So I'm actually third generation. Um, but just everything that they've done in the past and, you know, all the stories that they've told me and, and whatnot, um, obviously it's, it's always been a dream of mine to become law enforcement and it's obviously solely based because of them. So I'm actually a branch of patrol. Um, I'm on the set team. So it's the street enforcement team pretty much here in Collier County. Um, I patrol North Naples. Uh, our capacity is pretty cool. Um, we have an unmarked car, um, semi plain clothes. I'm in attack vest and whatnot, but we do everything from part one crimes, burglaries, robberies, et cetera, et cetera. Um, narcotics, warrants, um, search warrants, um, you know, anything driving related. So we're more of like the hunter mentality and we're an Intel based unit and whatnot. So we, we see some pretty cool stuff. Well, I do like how my job is not a nine to five. Um, I'm actually from when I first graduated college, um, I actually was in the business world for a little bit. Um, loved it, however, it's just so repetitive where you go into the office and you know you just know what your day consists of. In law enforcement and especially the capacity that I'm in, um, it's awesome because you just don't know what you're gonna see on a day-to-day -day basis, what kind of calls you're gonna go to. It's always something different. You can never predict it. Um, so it always keeps you on your toes, always keeps you fresh and, and not complacent, that's for sure. So I would say that's probably the thing that I enjoy the most, just going into the unknowing you know you don't you don't know what you're getting into and you know like i said it, it keeps it exciting the biggest thing with us is if we notice a crime trend we're going to go ahead and we're going to nip it in the bud because you know this is such a beautiful town to live in my first life-saving award that i got we um it was a 88 year old male um he was unresponsive um and actually he had a heart attack and what happened was he as he had a heart attack, he passed out and he slammed his head on the corner of a, a glass table. Um, and when he was knocked out, obviously we got there on scene first. Um, we administered CPR to him and whatnot. Um, and then EMS took over and he ended up living. Um, when he got transported to the hospital, he had no signs of life or anything. Um, and it was very fulfilling knowing that he lived. Um, and then we got presented an award, the Phoenix Award, um, obviously in recognition that we helped save his life. And um, it was cool because knowing obviously the, the gratification from that, we don't do this job for, um, you know, for awards and everything or recognition, but it is nice every now and then to know like, hey, listen, I made a difference in his life or, you know, I made a difference in her life. And that was my first um, gratification moment, I guess you could say from this job, knowing that, I contributed to saving his life. And obviously he's able to go home to his family every day. And, um, you know, just knowing that obviously is, is pretty uh, fulfilling within itself. So I would say that that's probably one of my memorable calls that I've been to.